Hey folks, welcome back. Uh, this is just gonna be a real quick video. Uh, I'm getting a lot of complaints, especially recently, about the uh, Beta FPV Light Radio 3, the one with Express LRS built into it. A lot of people have issues with connecting to the configurator and updating the firmware on it and actually getting into the configurator to uh, adjust the parameters of the radio. So I'm gonna go through this one more time. Uh, I made a video a little while back uh, about how to do this. Uh, wasn't a great video, wasn't super clear on how to do this. So I'm going to do this one more time. Um, and again, you know, if this helps you out, hit those links at the bottom, Patreon, whatever, show me some support. If you, if this helps you out at all. Also, I don't want to troubleshoot your computer. If you're having PC issues, I can try to help you out through the YouTube comments is not the place to do it. Um, I usually get about three or four back and forth, and then I stop getting notifications that you're replying to the conversation. So if it seems like I stopped talking, it's because I'm not getting any notifications that you're still trying to interact. Discord. Discord is the best place to do it. TweetFV.com. Click the Discord invite. And I'll see what I can do to help you out. Um, or, you know, you can try contacting the manufacturer. They should be the ones dealing with this stuff. But we all know how that works. All right. So first things first, uh, you're going to want to go to BetaFPV.com. Wait for all the pop-ups to stop. Go over to electronics and radio transmitters. We're going to click on the light radio three transmitter here. And we're going to go all the way down till we find this one, the download address for the beta FPV configurator. They're using their own configurator for this radio, the light radio three pro uses Edge TX and the just standalone Express LRS configurator. So uh, make sure you don't get the two confused. I'm going to click on that and we're going to go to GitHub. Yes, everybody's favorite place, GitHub. I know everybody hates GitHub that doesn't understand it. It is kind of weird. Uh, Beta FPV configurator V1.1.1 release candidate 1. This is the latest and I don't see them making a new one after this. Uh, release date January 26, 2022. Um, hopefully, if hopefully Beta FPV supports uh, Express LRS 3.0 with this radio, and we'll see another configurator. If there is a newer configurator, just download that one uh, and then you know use that one. So uh, if you're on Windows, you're going to click this one down here that says EXE. If you're on um, uh, the, the the Macs of the world, you click that one. So if click on it, download it, install it. I'm not going to walk you through how to install programs. If you don't, this probably isn't for you. All right, now that it's installed, what you need to do is go find that program. So we're going to go down to Beta FPV Configurator, and here is a major key, at least for me on my computer. You need to right-click on it, go down to More, and run as administrator. On Windows 11, I'm not exactly sure how you do this, but uh, if you can't do it from the Start menu, you have to find where that file was installed, where you can find the Beta FPV Configurator um, EXE. Well, let's just do this here. So it's going to be under probably, depending, of course, on where you decide to install it. Yeah, it's going to be under your local drive, program files, x86, beta FPV configurator, and then the beta FPV configurator right here. You can do that also and run as administrator. Same, same, does the same thing, but we need to hit run as administrator. Um, at least I do. There's a chance that you won't have to, but I doubt it. And you'll get the dark user access uh, permission window, and you'll get this. Beta FPV Configurator looks an awful lot like Beta Flight Configurator. Now, we're not using a flight controller. We're working on a radio, so we need to do... This here, click to activate for radio transmitter. Go ahead and click there. And now if you want to actually configure your radio, you have to A, leave your radio turned off. Do not turn it on. Leave it off. It's not gonna work if you turn it on first. Go and plug in your USB-C cable. And hit connect RC. There you go. You should be able to get into your radio setup menu. 
Um, and it's going to tell you unit type, internal radio module, hardware and software version. And then you can make all your changes here. I'm not going to go over what changes to make. You can make them yourself. Now, let's say you want to update the firmware on this radio. Make sure your radio is unplugged. Click firmware flasher on the left hand side. Now, if these are not populating up here, at least in my experience, it's because you didn't run as administrator. Um, it, it, it needs internet access to be able to find the versions that are out there. So if you're not getting this, run as administrator. If you're still not getting it, make sure you're hooked up to the internet. So for me, like Radio 3 SX 1280, because it is the Express LRS, if you have the uh, FR Sky 4, and, well, the FR Sky version, uh, it's going to be the CC2500, but we're on the SX1280. Click version, newest version, 2.0.1. Really wish it was newer than that, but that's what we got. All right, here's the next step. Really have to pay attention to this. You need to hold, make sure the radio's off. Radio needs to be off. Make sure it's off, like this. Off. You need to make sure the USB cable is not connected to it right now. USB cable needs to be disconnected. Grab yourself a little pokey device. Hold the setup button in and press the power button like so. Your radio should light up in blue. So just hold the setup button and then just tap the power button. It should light up in blue. If it's beeping at you and flashing red, it's probably because you have the USB cable installed. All right. Now that this is solid blue, take your USB cable. Plug it right in there. Something you should see if you go into device manager, which uh, at least for my Windows folks, if you right click your start button and you can go to device manager here, this will pop up. You should see under COM ports something other than COM1. Um, make sure you don't have a flight controller plugged in or beta flight running or something like that. Um, beta flight, uh, Express LRS, any ESC configurator, make sure those are closed. Otherwise, they're going to want to take control of this COM port and they could be conflicting with you. But if you do not have a COM port right here or you have something that's like an unknown COM port, you need to figure out the driver issue for your computer. If you do not see the STM32 uh, virtual COM port driver, this is where you need to go. I'll put a link in the video description. You do need to like make an account. They don't charge you anything. It's just kind of a pain in the butt. So we'll put our email address, hit download. They're gonna send you a registration thing. It's just, it's just what you gotta go through to do this. So you get an email and then it'll say download now, hit that button. And then you can come down here and uh, it'll automatically start downloading. Go ahead and extract that file and then we're going to install the program. Most likely you're going to want to do this one here that says X64, 64 bits. Run that. I've already got it installed, so I'm just going to do a repair. Um, you going to get the device installation wizard. Just going to click next. It's probably going to give you a warning. All right, here we go. STM32, blah, blah, blah. Done and finish. And you see now that my COM port 11 changed STM micro electronics virtual COM port COM 11. It works either way for me. So there we are. We're there. All right. So now that we have our COM port, you should be able to also see COM port up here in the corner. If, uh, if you went through this whole process and changed a bunch of drivers, go ahead and shut everything down, turn it all back on, redo everything up to this point. All right. Our radio is solid blue because we held setup and push power without USB connected. That was blue. We plugged it in. We have our COM port. We're going to do connect, load firmware online, flash firmware. Once you're done with that, go ahead and disconnect the radio. Power it off. If you hold the button, it's just going to go through this cycle. So just real quick. Radio still off. Go ahead and connect it with the USB cable. Come back up here to welcome. 
hit connect RC. And you should be greeted with this with firmware version 201 on it. My radio had 201 on it, but yours should have changed. If you are having issues at this point, please hit me up on Discord. I'll see what I can do to help you out. Um, I know sometimes this stuff doesn't go 100% straightforward, perfect the first time. Sometimes it takes a couple iterations. Sometimes you just, I don't know, skipped a step, missed a step, did things out of a sequence. This stuff is very, very particular about the order in which you do it. All right, folks. Um, hopefully this helped you out. Twitterfee.com. If you uh, if you want to support me, go to Patreon. Two bucks a month. And there's some benefits there. Uh, and then also, if you're having issues, hit that Discord invite and uh, at me over there on Discord. All right, folks. Uh, hopefully this helped you out. And stay positive. I'll see you next time.